This video will go over best practices for units in FUDSCHEM. When data is approved in FUDSCHEM and the data usability assessment is completed, the data is transferred behind the USACE firewall to its final home in the eCAM database. Prior to being submitted to eCAM, data must be converted to standard units, defined by the EMCX. Having a standard set of units ensures that data being submitted from any district is consistent across the entire program. This consistency allows the government to better compare data within and across sites. The EMCX has defined standardized units for each analytical method group. A list of standardized units is available to government users with access to the FUDS program database under Reports, eCAM Reports, Acceptable Units by Method Group. This report lists the method group, matrix, and standardized units. Because the system judges which units are correct based on method group and matrix, it is important that method group, matrix, and units are all consistent. For users that do not have access to the FUDS program database, the contents of this report are appended to the FUDSCHEM standardized units pamphlet, which is located at FUDSCHEM.com, before logging in under Resources, Best Practices. The units were chosen based on several considerations. These include the number of analytical results that already exist with those units, which methods and matrices were associated with these analytes, and which units were associated with those methods. Back in the database, under Tools, Data, EQAP Setup, the user can add method templates to their EQAP in the Copy QAP tab. FUDSCHEM's EQAP Setup tool includes the method group, matrices, and standardized units for each method template by default. The method group code for methods added to your project can be seen in the EQAP Setup tool under the Methods tab. The method group code is pre-populated according to the original method selected in the Copy QAP tab and should not be changed unless the method code is changed. For an example of this, please refer to our Creating a Method from Scratch eQAP Advanced Tutorial, which is linked in the description. In the case that a method is changed in this interface, the method group can be edited by clicking on the text and selecting a new option from the drop-down menu. Please reach out to your Synaptics point of contact for assistance in determining what the correct method group would be. The matrix and standardized units can be found under the Matrix tab. Using the template's default units will ensure the project is using standardized units, which will be accepted into eChem. Attempting to change the units on the Matrix tab will display a warning that Changing these units may result in a deviation from program-approved reporting units. Please review program requirements and verify that this change is appropriate. Contact technical support with any questions. In the case that updating the units is necessary and appropriate, the user can proceed with the update. For more information on the various tabs of the eQAP Setup tool, please refer to our eQAP Tutorials playlist, which is linked in the description. In the case that standardized units are not used for your project, the data will be converted to match the standardized units after data approval and before completion of the data usability assessment. For more information on the data usability assessment, please refer to our Data Usability Assessment Tutorial and our Data Usability Assessment Reports Overview Tutorial, which are both linked in the description. Please note that in order for the final data to transfer to eChem without acceptable unit errors, all method group, matrix, units combinations must match what is listed in the acceptable units by method group report. 
while the units themselves can be converted. The combination of method group in the EQAP and sample matrix loaded by the lab in the EDD will need to match what is in the report so that the system recognizes what the acceptable units should be. For example, in the Methods tab, we can see that the method group for SW9060A is GenChem. In the Acceptable Units report, we can see that there are 16 different options for matrices that can apply to that method group, and the matrix reported by the lab would need to match one of them. The EQAP Setup tool has a screening check to help catch method group matrix combinations that do not have acceptable units established, and therefore do not show up on the report. If the method group matrix combination utilized for your project is not listed on the acceptable units report or you get an EQAP error noting that acceptable units are not established, please reach out to your Synaptics point of contact. For non-chemistry data types, units included as valid values can be found by going to Reports, ADR and Submission Reports, Valid Value Lists. Choose the data table, for example, environmental measurement, and select units for the data type. Click View Report. We can see all of the units that are currently valid values in FUDSCHEM for that specific data table. If you do not see the units that you need, please reach out to your Synaptics point of contact. For some non-chemistry data types, Units are not entered manually because a specific unit is required per the electronic data specification. Go to Reports, ADR and Submission Reports, Electronic Data Specification Fixed Width. Choose the electronic data type, for example, Groundwater Level, and click View Report. We can see from the descriptions that for interval beginning and end depths, as well as for static water depth and sounding. Measurements need to be loaded in feet. Don't forget to subscribe to the FUDSCHEM YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. All of the tutorials and playlists mentioned during this video are linked in the description below. Lastly, if you have questions or comments, feel free to contact us at fuds.support at Thank you.